Number 1. Chevrolet Impala. 1965 year of issue. 1965 Chevrolet Impala, no motor, no trans. It needs full restoration but can be fixed or a great parts car. Has rust in the floors, trunk, quarters, frame. Number 2, Cadillac DeVille. 1961 year of issue. 1961 Cadillac DeVille convertible project factory Pompeian red with burgundy white interior. White top, factory power windows. No drivetrain, convertible frame is solid. Will need rust repair on quarters, floors, rockers. All convertible parts are intact and in good shape. Missing top latches. Number three, Chevrolet pickup. 1965 year of issue. 65 Chevrolet one half ton pickup, clear title. Six C lie, not running. Fair body but large dent on pass side box. Dollar 2500. Location Parker's Prairie, Minnesota. Number 4 Mercury Comet. 1965 year of issue. 1965 Mercury Comet two-door sedan. This car has sat for so long that the motor is probably stuck. Would be best used for a parts car, no title. Asking $1,200. Located in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Number 5. Ford High Boy, 1966 year of issue. 66. Ford High Boy 3 quarters ton 4 wheel drive pickup. No box, clear title, pretty clean overall cab, not running. Three fifty one Windsor automatic This might be a newer four wheel drive frame in the seventies that this cab is set on. Looks to fit pretty well. Neat project truck, dollar two thousand. Number six, Ford Four Doctor Sedan. 1949 year of issue. Nineteen forty nine Ford Shoebox. Engine was pulled before we acquired it. Body has some rust. Needs total restoration, no title. Asking dollar one thousand two hundred. Located in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Number seven, Cadillac Eldorado, nineteen seventy eight year of issue. Nineteen seventy eight Cadillac Eldorado. Has the 425 V8 with an automatic transmission.
It is currently not running. We have not tried starting it. Body is in decent condition. Was told there was just over 7K miles before the speedometer was taken out and it was parked. It was a theft recovery from Texas years ago. Number eight, Chevrolet Corvair, 1961 year of issue. If you are looking for an affordable ramp side project, this might be the truck for you. While it is no cream puff, structurally it is solid. Recently, the truck has had a good used, cleaned out, fuel tank installed, new brake shoes, wheel cylinder, rubber lines, and the shoes turned. While the drivetrain is not installed, the truck would come with a rebuildable 80 HP Corvair engine. Furthermore, we have additional headlight buckets, bumpers, etc. That could be included. The truck does also come with a side gate and the windshield is a good original one with no cracks. Number one, International Scout, 1964 year of issue. 64 International Scout 4X4, current title in my name. Bonded title, but totally transferable, not running. Missing carburetor, radiator, gauges, etc. It has a lot of lower one, four, and rocker rust out. Some rust on top of the box sides. Driver's door is broken off of its hinges. Needs restoration, dollar 3,500. Number two. Chevrolet Sedan Delivery 1948 year of issue 1948 Chevrolet Sedan Delivery No title, no motor trans Original chassis and suspension It has lower patch panels put on it at one time. Older primer on it now. Need some floor replacement, $4,000. Number three, Honda Accord, 1977 year of issue. This is a well-kept 1977 Honda Accord CVCC two-door hatchback in excellent running condition. Mileage is believed to be original showing 92,263 miles TMU on a five-digit odometer. Original yellow cloth and vinyl trim interior with seating for four. Original AM FM radio, manual door locks, manual mirrors, remote trunk release. Fold down rear seat for more trunk storage space, intermittent windshield wipers, power steering, power brakes and more. Equipped with a 1.6-liter four-cylinder CVCC engine and five-speed manual transmission. The Accord received an EPA fuel efficiency rating of 38 MPG City and 48 MPG Highway. Number four, Cadillac Sedan DeVille.
1958 year of issue, no title, bill of sale only, not running. I was going to rebuild it. But I no longer have the time. Has engine and transmission, complete front grille and bumper. Complete dashboard has most of the chrome. It is a roller, sheet metal has rust, great project car. Number five, Chevrolet CK20, 1976 year of issue. 1976 Chevrolet CK20 series, definitely a project truck. I bought it wanting to restore it. Brand new 350 crate engine with around 500 miles on it. Comes with a box of extra parts and a front left fender that is in good shape. along with two doors that are in good shape and a parts door. Rust on the floorboard and by the doors. Number six, Chevrolet van, 1965 year of issue. This red standard sport van is complete with 35894 showing on the odometer. The van is running. It has the original straight six engine with the three speed transmission. The van doesn't have any seats in the back, but it does have the brackets on the floor for seats. Chrome bumpers are there and the passenger side step works like it should. This van is in good condition for its age. I found two small rust spots above the windshield on either corners and one spot near the passenger side rear rain gutter. Other than that, the body is in great condition. Number seven, Ford Custom, 1951 year of issue. Nineteen fifty one Ford Custom Four Door Survivor. Flathead eight cylinder three speed manual transmission. Solid car, frame and body in good condition. All glass and chrome, interior in decent shape, dash intact, no radio as seen in picture patch on driver side floor, three wheel trim rings included. Headers have been added otherwise stock original car runs, shifts, drives and stops as it should. Number 7, Ford Custom, 1951 year of issue. 1951 Ford Custom Four Door Survivor. Flathead eight cylinder three speed manual transmission. Solid car, frame and body in good condition. All glass and chrome, interior in decent shape, dash intact, no radio as seen in picture patch on driver side floor, three wheel trim rings included. Headers have been added otherwise stock original car runs, shifts, drives and stops as it should. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz 450 SL, 1976 year of issue.
This California car is equipped with an automatic transmission, V8 engine, power-assisted steering, four-wheel disc brakes, twin exhaust finishers, VDO instrumentation, quad headlamps, side moldings, black convertible soft top, body color hard top, and a four-spoke steering wheel. Additional convenience features include air conditioning, Blaupunkt radio, power-operated windows, cruise control, a center console, and a cigar lighter with an ashtray. This particular 450 SL comes with an owner's manual, providing valuable insights and information for the new owner. While the car currently has a strong crank, it requires some additional work to recommission it to its former glory and get it back on the road again. Number 2. MG MGB. 1979 year of issue. The car has been repainted, freshly powder-coated wheels. New convertible top, fuel tank, radiator, steering wheel, multiple lamp assemblies and lenses, door lock sets, windshield washer pump, rear half of the exhaust and the list goes on. I've only driven the car around a small industrial park so I don't know what all the car needs but the clutch feels good. Goes through the gears just fine. Power feels good and it doesn't burn oil. Brakes are a bit inconsistent, it's a bit wet at both ends of the motor so the front and rear mail seal could probably be replaced. I don't believe the electric cooling fan kicks on. Number 3. Mercedes-Benz 200. 1967 year of issue. This blue plate California car is equipped a four-speed column shift manual transmission, M121 four-cylinder engine, front wheel disc brakes, Solex dual carburetors, single exhaust outlet, chrome trim slash slash grill, chrome bumpers with overriders, two hundred twenty inches badges, two spoke steering wheel with horn ring, body side molding, white line tires, Mercedes Benz branded hubcaps, jack, and a full size spare tire fitted in the trunk. Amenities include manual crank windows, driver side rear view mirror, fender mounted antenna, door pockets, center console, dashboard lighter with an ashtray, glove compartment, and sun visors with a vanity mirror on the passenger side. Number four. Ford Galaxy 500, 1966 year of issue. Nineteen sixty six Ford Galaxy 500. Running driving classic, three hundred and ninety FEV eight.
2 BBL auto transmission power brakes, power steering power windows and locks. In the last two months, we have fixed and performed all routine maintenance on this car. It runs excellent, drives straight, and stops like it should. Number 5. Dodge Polara. 1963 year of issue. Runs and drives pretty well. Currently leaks transmission fluid. Needs shift cable replaced. Has many new parts including floor pan, dual exhaust, carpet. Does have Bondo and other quick fix patchwork done by previous owner currently sitting on trailer tires for whatever reason. But they are in great condition. You don't see too many four door hardtops that could be good or bad. Three eighty three with push button torque flight. Power steering, power brakes. Number six, Ford Falcon, nineteen sixty three year of issue. 1963 Falcon 170 CI6 cylinder engine, three speed manual, three on the tree. Five seven zero 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 original miles all. New brakes, upgrade two dual circuit, new clutch kit. New radiator all. New gaskets on engine, rebuilt carburetor, new fuel pump, everything works, classic auto sound, radio, great heat. New headliner, white wall tires, only 2K miles on them. Number 7, Porsche 924, 1977 year of issue. The car wears a copper metallic paint with reupholstered seats in tan vinyl and tartan cloth. And it is powered by a 2.0 liter inline four paired with a four speed manual transaxle. Additional equipment includes pop-up headlights, a removable sunroof, and an aftermarket CD stereo. The car was acquired approximately seven years ago. It features pop-up headlights, a removable sunroof, black trim, and a single exhaust outlet. Dings and dents are noted in the bodywork, and some paint is peeling at the hood edges and rain channels. Hide headlamp bulbs have been added. Black 14's eight-spoke alloy wheels have been powder-coated and are mounted with Falcon Sincera tires. No spare tire is present. Braking is handled by front discs and rear drums and the car was optioned with front and rear stabilizer bars. Number eight, Mercedes-Benz, 350 SL, 1980 year of issue. This example comes finished in a clean coat of medium gray paint that is complemented by a tan leather interior. It rides on chrome wheels and features a light spoiler on the rear trunk lid, which provides an added touch of sportiness to the overall appearance.
The interior is as clean as the exterior and is a comfortable place to pilot this classic luxury roadster from. Since the introduction of the 300 SL Roadster in 1957, the Mercedes SL nameplate has been associated with the best of the best in open-air motoring. To this day, the Mercedes SL masterfully combines quality, performance, elegance, and style. The 1983-350 SL is part of the legendary run from 1971 to 1989 that continued the SL's reign of success.